Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Mel Holistic. I am Mel. In this video, I'm going to guide you through a short yoga sequence that is suitable for yoga beginners to follow. Or even if you have a stiff body or feeling inflexible, this video is for you as well because I will be showing some variations in poses that it is easy for you to follow. So all you need is just get onto a comfortable mat, have belt or two blocks ready, or in fact, you can also use a pillow if you want to. And once you are feeling ready and good to go, let's follow me and begin. Now let's come to sit in a comfortable seated position. Now for those of you who can't sit up straight and you are experiencing a hunch in the back, you can feel free to sit your hips or your pelvis on a block or simply you can place a pillow underneath your buttocks all right for support so that you can sit up tall all right so whichever is comfortable for you so for me i will just remove this um tools and now gently close your eyes we will just take a few moments here to do breathing exercises to calm our mind and our body down continue to sit up tall pull the crown of your head high up towards the ceiling shoulders away from your ears as you inhale fill your abdomen with air let it bulge out and as you exhale pull your belly button in close towards your back inhale Exhale, releasing yourself from all negative thoughts. And as you inhale, attract positive energy and thoughts into your whole body and your mind and your soul. Exhale, pushing out everything that is negative out of you, far, far away from you. One last breath, inhale. And exhale, slowly open up your eyes, very good. Now side stretch, so now straighten up your left hand and walk your right hand towards the side to give a side stretch to your left body. Now if your elbows cannot touch the mat, you can simply lift up your elbows so both hands are straight. And we switch sides. Light stretch. Now remember not to hunch your back. Remember to open up your chest. Show your chest high up towards the ceiling. If you can't ground the left elbow, just keep it straight. Now feel the stretch of your oblique, the side oblique. Open up your chest. Good. And we slowly. Good. Now coming into all fours. All right, now all fours is a very good um, starting position for our cat and cow pose. And all beginners or even if you're an advanced practitioner, it's very good for you to practice. So now knees are hip width distance apart. Wrists are shoulder width distance apart. All right, now toes are flat. As you inhale, arch your back. Look up, chin up. As you exhale, round your back, looking at your navel or at your knees, pushing your back high up towards the ceiling. One more time, inhale, arch your back, look up, chin up. Exhale, rounding your back, one more time. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Good. Now come to neutral back and now see if you can slowly walk your palms forward one by one. Or you can choose to stay here. Now for beginners, you might find it difficult. You might want to use the block to help you. You can either place a chin on the block into puppy pose. Or for those of you who are more flexible, Remove the block and your chin can rest on the mat. 
So whichever is comfortable for you. In fact, another variation you can also rest your chin or your head on the pillow for support. Now the thing here is, now the thing here is, what we want to do is to lengthen your back, giving your back a good stretch. Alright, in puppy pose. Now notice that my pelvis is high up towards the ceiling. Continue to breathe in and out. One more time, in and out. Alright, now slowly lift our chin up, we are slowly walking back our palms one by one and sit our heels Oh, sorry, sit our butt onto our heels and now come into child's pose. Now you can choose to have your knees apart or together. And now for some of you, you may have very tight and stiff ties or very big and bulky quads and you find that your hips cannot sit on your heels. Don't worry, just place a block or two underneath your hips for support. Or again, you can use the hello and sit for support. Alright, so choose whichever is comfortable for you. And now come into child's pose. So for me, let me remove the pillow of course. And rest in child's pose. Now in child's pose, this is a very relaxing pose. And it's easy for yoga beginners to try. In fact, this helps to lengthen your back. So even on the bed before you sleep or when you wake up, this is one of the best poses that you can actually try to do it on your own. Continue to inhale and exhale. Good. Now lift your head up and slowly walk your palms. Try to interlock your fingers behind your back. Now for those of you, you may find that mm, you have difficulties to place your palms together. So I'm actually interlocking my fingers behind my back and palms together. But for yoga beginners, if you find that this is too tough for you, don't worry. You can always keep your palms apart. Alright, now try to lengthen your arms by opening up your shoulders. So roll your shoulders back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. So now you see your chest is more open. And see if you can ground your knuckles on the mat behind you. So now you're basically shining your chest high up towards the ceiling. Open up your chest, squeezing your shoulder blade. It's a very good upper body opening pose and it's very simple and easy to follow. Now as you exhale, lift the hand up and try to roll your body forward. Now for yoga beginners, you may not be able to ground your forehead on the mat, it's okay. All you need to do is to place your forehead on a block. You can place it flat in this manner or at a middle height or even the highest, depending on which level you need to. So let's say you put at the lowest height, you can place your forehead on the block for support and try to pull your arms higher towards the ceiling. So those who don't need a block, this is how it's going to look like. In fact, my nose is very near my knees. Alright, now continue to try and lengthen your arms up. Now don't force, listen to your body. Everybody's body is different. As we inhale, lift your head and body up. And as you exhale, release your hand. Very good. Now just place the back of your wrist on the mat, right, giving the forearm a little bit of stretch here. Good, so just roll your body from side to side, side to side. All right, let me just change a bit of the angle so that you can see more clearly. All right, now we switch sides. So now fingers pointing towards you still, but now we stretch the back of the arm. Good. And release from that. Alright, now coming back to all fours again. Now can you stack your right foot in between your palms? 
and walk your right foot forward. Alright, in this instance, can you check that your right knee is stacked above your right ankle and stretch out your left quads. So your left knee needs to be pushed back slightly. Right, the more you push back, the more you can feel the lengthening and the stretch. Now for beginners, if you have difficulties placing your hands on the mat, don't worry. Again, our favourite block. Place your palms onto the blocks at different heights. You can place it at the lowest height here, middle, or at the highest height. Alright, now main thing here is we want to feel the stretch of our left quads. Here. Alright, now let's try to straighten your right knee. So push your pelvis back, straighten your right knee and flex your right toes. Now check that your hip is still in line with your knee. Alright, if your hands cannot touch the mat, use blocks. Same thing at the lowest height, middle height, or the highest height. And in this pose, try to keep your right knee as straight as you can. Lengthen your back, alright? And just stay here, but if you want more stretch in your right hamstring, slowly walk your palms forward. Inhale, look up, exhale. And try to see if your forehead can go close to your right knee. And continue to breathe in and out. Don't hold your breath. So again, for beginners, you can place your palm on the block if you want to. Alright. So, slowly practice this over time. Alright, now let us try to bend our right knee one more time. Alright, stacking your right knee above your right ankle. And straighten up one more time. And bend. And straighten. Good, bending it one more time. Now, palms on the mat, you can curl your left toes and now shoot your right foot back into downward facing dog let's walk the dog for a moment bending your right knee straight and your left now bend your left knee straight and your right knee now as you straighten your right knee see if you can ground your right heel on the mat but if it's too stiff for you don't worry just lift a heel right heel up a little bit and we switch legs again bending your right knee straight and your left knee. This time now, try to see if you can ground your left heel onto the mat. If not, you can lift the left heel off just a little bit. Now feel the left calf stretch. And we'll switch legs one more time. Now once you're ready, join me in downward facing dog. Lengthen your back. Now if you feel that your calf is too tight, you can slowly lift up both of your heels a little bit away from the ground or you can simply bend your knees but try to see if you can ground your heels on the mat all right so most important is try to lengthen your back straighten your arms open up your 10 fingers and try to straighten your knee as much as you can for those who are feeling less stiff Good. Now look at the space in between your palms, stepping your left foot forward. Now for those of you who cannot step your left foot one step in between your palm, you can step halfway and use your left hand to put your left foot forward. But for those of you who can do it, you can follow me and left foot step in between your palms, resting your right knee on the mat, right toes flat. Back to the same pose as we did earlier. Here. Now feel the stretch in your right front tire, your right quads. Palms on the floor or on the block. So you choose what works for you. Here. Now straightening your left knee. Flex your left toes this time round. Now feel the stretch in your left hamstring. Again, hands on block or without the block. 
So remember to just lengthen your back as much as you can. And inhale, try to stop, exhale, bend forward. Good. Now bending your knee, left knee. Into a low lunge. One more time, straightening your left knee. We two half split. One more time, bending left knee into low lunge. And straighten left knee into half split. Good. And we bend our knee one more time. Left foot back. And let's rest in child's pose. Continue to inhale and exhale. Slowly roll your body up. And let's slowly end the class. You can choose to sit like how we started the class. Or just lie down on the mat in Shavasana. Let me just demonstrate Shavasana. And feel free to... Take a moment here and rest, keeping your eyes closed, feet apart, palms facing towards the ceiling. Just let your whole body sink into the earth and relax. Deep breath in, deep breath out. You can choose to stay for as long as you wish to. Or simply bend your knees together, hugging your knees to your chest. And roll your body from side to side. Massaging your back. And slowly come to. Just take a moment here. For a breathing exercise, one more time, inhale, raise your hands up, sitting up tall. Exhale, release your hands. One more time, inhale. Exhale, release your hands down. One last time, inhale, raise your hands up. Exhale, lower your hands down, palms together in front of your heart center. Gently bow to yourself, namaste, and open up your eyes, look forward. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed what I have shared with you today. I would really appreciate if you can give me a thumbs up like for this video, give me your comments, what do you think? And please do subscribe to me because your subscription is important to me and that will also help support me to create more of such videos for you in future. You may also like to watch these videos next. And then I'll see you in my next video.